Thanks for watching. We're talking about using the rule of three for diabetic kidney disease. That's using three different nutrients to help support your kidney health and support the diabetes. If you're new to our channel, welcome. I'm Robert Valero. It's naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor. Been living with a kidney transplant a long, long time, almost coming up on two decades. So my whole life is kidneys. Okay, So if you're new, subscribe. Hundreds of videos on how to support good kidney health. So you have diabetic kidney disease. You got two issues. You have the diabetes and then you have kidney damage. So I'm going to give you three super nutrients that really help. And these nutrients, they don't just help the blood sugar. They also help the kidneys, vice versa. There's a lot of things you can take to help the blood sugar, but they don't always help the kidneys. And they may help the kidneys, but not always the blood sugar. Well, let's get into it. Number one, soluble fiber. Soluble fiber is so tremendously beneficial with your kidneys and helping the rise, helping stop that spike, that rise in your blood sugar very quickly. It slows the rise in your blood sugar, as well as taking out kidney toxins. Now, soluble fiber does this really, really well. And you'd like to take it at two meals a day. You can break it up. If you're new to fiber, you start with a smaller dose, gradually increasing. I would say to start with about 10 grams of soluble fiber a day. You can even start with half that. But you like to get to at least 10 or 12 to really have benefits. And ideally, like 25 grams would really be helpful. And you can go as high as 50, okay? And you can break that up anyway. Start with once a day, go to twice. And it helps so many things. Kidneys, the blood sugar, cholesterol, reduces kidney toxins. So tremendously beneficial. We do make a product called Kidney Restore Biofiber, which is an acacia fiber. It's the preferred soluble fiber. But any soluble fiber shows benefits okay so you could use other types of soluble fiber and still get good benefit from it number two alpha lipoic acid okay alpha lipoic acid is a super antioxidant it does a couple things okay it helps it helps the blood sugar from not going so high as well as help protect the kidney plus it has hundreds of other beneficial uses in the body you want to use 600 milligrams twice a day that's the magic number to help get all those good things. Okay? If you go to the store and pick a 200 milligram pill and take one pill a day, it's not gonna help you. And then later you might say, I took it, didn't work. Well, no, you didn't take the right dose. So make sure you get the right amount. Okay, third, uh, cordyceps. Okay, I'm starting to love this mushroom. It is just showing tremendous benefit. There was just a study not long ago on how it could help uh, diabetic kidney disease in the Journal of Pharmacology. Uh, it was either March or May, 2022, if you wanna look that up. Now, it's Cordyceps sinensis. There's also a Cordyceps uh, militaris, which if you're looking up supplements, you may find uh, both of them. Both of them show benefit, okay? And they look pretty equal. The sinensis, the Cordyceps sinensis, is, uh, seems to be a little bit more widely used, easier to find, uh, and that's what these studies were referencing. So if you're gonna use that, you wanna get at least 1,500 milligrams a day up to 3,000 milligrams a day. Okay, so those three things, soluble fiber, alpha lipoic acid, cordyceps sinensis, using those three, test your blood work and three months later, um, and unless you're in you know, really not good health in general, you will see some kind of positive improvements you know, in your labs and the way you feel. So thanks for watching everybody. Feel free to comment, uh, like this video, check out everything else we have into your best kidney health. Bye.